Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we're playing Stormworks Build and Rescue and we are doing uh, a showcase of this um, boat is the catamaran mothership and I will explain shortly what this is about you can see that it's uh, very similar to the catamaran salvager so the difference is that it has this uh, section here um, that it uh, takes uh, a good deal of the deck space and is spe especially suited uh, to dock with other vessels uh, in particular with a submersible so we will be docking today with a submersible I will uh, show you how to do that and uh, we are going to use this hatch let me turn on the lights because it's a little bit dark here so we have this hatch and uh, this could be also used without a submersible if you for example want to perform uh, some uh, scuba diving uh, you can open the hatch right and then you can just um, go underwater so like this way also uh, we have um, a crane uh, very much like the uh, catamaran salvager with which we can salvage uh, equipment uh, from underwater so when we open the hatch we have some uh, flooding taking place so there's uh, some water and for that I play this um, uh, measuring this uh, water meter here that measures uh, how much um, water we have now and but we can pump it out we can certainly pump out the you see here that how it's going out the water through those um, ports so this is not an issue if we uh, get some water in into the the ship so it's gone water is gone now okay um, also we have this station here I will show briefly what is this about so this ship is good for exploration this is the the tag that I gave it and it has like the catamaran salvager it has this master slave uh, configuration for the for the engines so let's uh, let's start it Also, it has a, a searchlight in front that you can control with uh, with the keys. Now I'm controlling the searchlight with uh, up and down, left and right keys. So that's that's also handy. Uh, okay, so yes, let's let's go uh, some distance away. I think this is a good distance and I will show you so this station here is to is meant to look at what's going on underneath so here we have some uh, th there's a camera and I have this monitor uh, looking on what's uh, underwater just this is just below uh, the deck and we can turn on uh, a light so we can see also it has infrared mode and it has also zoom so we can zoom in and we can see what's going on underwater 
and also you can control the crane I won't deploy it now well I could yes yes this is here's the crane you can see it now so with this lever I can just uh, deploy the, the crane and it has uh, also controls for the winch in the crane so basically that's it but today I uh, we're focusing on this um, docking procedure and using it as a mothership for the submersible so the definition of submersible is uh, the difference between a submersible and a submarine is that the submersible depends on a mothership so that means the, that it doesn't have for example uh, the um, ability or the capability to generate its own power so this is one important difference between a submarine and a submersible and this is why we have this mothership so my submersible I will uh, spawn it here my submersible is 100% um, electrical so it works with electricity you can see here the it has a big battery there so if you are going to perform a mission with with this uh, vehicle you don't want like to go to the mission using just this vehicle because you're draining the the, the, the power so depending of course if it's um, close by if it's very close to your base you could do that but usually that's not the case so what uh, you do is that you um, you go with them you go with um, mothership you will attach the submersible to a mothership and then the mothership will transport a sub submersible to the mission location and then uh, there you will detach the submersible and perform your underwater task so this is the submersible I already did a video you can check it out uh, about the submersible showcasing the submersible and here we have controls for the pump what I do is that well first you have to switch on the pumps this controls the electricity for the pumps and then uh, it currently it's in draining mode and there's nothing in the tanks it has it has two tanks and usually what I do is that I will flood the um, the tanks to about a half one half of its um, capacity so this will give the submersible some diving di diving capability uh, now um, yes ah, I forgot something <laughs> I have to turn on the, the docking here the docking um, control but also I have to do the same for the for the mothership so uh, we are using uh, this hatch and these are docking hatch that means that this um, this hatch are meant to dock with um, with each other so this is the the, the the hatch in the submersible and we need to turn on the hatch in the in the mothership so I forgot to do that my bad and the way you do this is here we have a control docking so now this hatch um, will be used as docking port and I will also explain how to configure this from the workbench. Okay, so now I think we either we go back a little bit. Probably that's a good idea because we're too close to the to the mothership now. 
and we want to okay so now we are going to dock uh, with the mothership this procedure is um, not so difficult but we have to perform it in a good timing here and we um, yes that's a good position right there and we should be over soon we should be talking pretty soon we're in a good position there we have talked okay so now what that means is that we are docked with a uh, um, mothership and we can open this um, door and voila we are um, we are uh, docked with the mothership I have to perform a little jump here <laughs> there and I'm out I'm in the in the mothership right now okay so now this is uh, the configuration we have the the submersible attached to the catamaran uh, this is also uh, an, another advantage of the catamaran design we have a good amount of space beneath the deck and that allows us to have a submersible so now we can just um, go to whatever place the mission uh, requires us to go so this is at full speed now so the um, the ship is performing uh, about uh, five meter per second. Okay, so this is uh, I don't know a decent speed. This uh, as fast as, as it can go. So the engines are rotating at twelve uh, rotations per second. And there you go. So this is how the this is meant to work, right? And then you will go to your to the, the wherever your mission uh, is, and then you can go into the the submersible. You w have to close the door and. When I close this door, the other one, they are uh, now attached. Every time I open or close uh, my, uh, the submersible hatch, uh, the mothership hatch will do the same. So now I can undock, right? Now I'm free and I can... I can just... Um, travel to whatever uh, the mission uh, takes me to so wherever I need to go I can freely move from the mothership so that's basically it right we can uh, the idea is to 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 have the the mothership uh, transporting the submersible to wherever it needs to go and uh, as I, I explained this in another video that it's it's important for the mothership to be able to charge the submersible 
And we explained that in order to do that, uh, it's important to have uh, a clutch to control the engine. I can show this briefly. Let's return to the to the mothership. I have to turn on again the, the docking. And now I have to decrease the speed because we are going too fast. Ooh, ooh. We need to go backwards. A little bit. So, um, what should we do? Go back forwards a little bit And now backwards. There. So you see, it's it's not that complicated, right? It's not that uh, difficult to, to dock with a mothership. Sometimes it can get a little bit. Sometimes it's, it's easier. Sometimes it's uh, trickier. But in general, it's not that difficult. Okay, so now um, I wanted just to, to explain briefly this thing. Uh, you see that now our battery is at um, 86%, right? And this is because, of course, the submersible um, consumes energy. So if we want to, we could uh, charge the the submersible without moving and this can be done uh, by uh, removing all pressure from the clutch this is the clutch lever the clutch uh, controls the pressure transmitted from the engine to the propeller so right now it's not transmitting any pressure and the uh, and that means that the uh, engines will um, turn freely and now here we see that uh, it's charging over two and a half units and we see the batteries going up and this is now the the, the engines are are just generating uh, energy to recharge the the batteries so all the batteries are at the same voltage let's say because all of them are interconnected uh, between each other but here we are just charging the battery quickly w w you have to keep an eye on the temperature you you don't want the the temperature to go up to go over 100 110 or so so if we were to move we could move and charge the battery at the same time this is also an advantage of the clutch so i can control for example i could set the the clutch to be at 50 per 50 percent so half of the energy is uh, or, or the power is used to um, move the boat and the other half is used to charge the battery so again we see that we are 
if we if we um, give more power to the engine that is too much I think we we have more rotations and uh, and more um, generation of, of power I think for yes this is about This is about uh, the, the the maximum, I think. We we don't want the temperature to to go uh, that high. And you see that the batteries are are being charged uh, very much in a good good timing. Okay, and that's the idea. That's the uh, that's the. Uh, that's something important about the mother chip to be able to control the uh, the transmission of power with the clutch okay so let's take a look now at the in the in the workbench at, at the at the design of the of the ship i want to Okay, so this is the mothership, and the mothership has. Uh, let's take a look at the at the data. It has the the this docking port, right? You will find it if you, if we uh, write dock. This is the docking hatch, and this is a docking door. So with these elements, you can perform this docking between vehicles and here you can see the the hatch and one important thing here is to configure the hatch in a correct way so we saw that um, we can open the um, we can open the hatch with this button right this one thing the other thing I'm oh sorry this is this is for opening the hatch I mean this is for opening the hatch so it goes through this uh, uh, or uh, signal because it goes through through an or signal because we can open the hatch either with this button or um, through the a connected door in this case the submersible door remember that I told you that when we open the submersible hatch also the mothership hatch will open because otherwise if I dock with uh, with a submersible and I want to get into the mothership if uh, I cannot control uh, this uh, hatch door from the submersible then I cannot go in unless there's someone here that will open the door for me but um, if you're in single player, you, you want to control that. So that means that we need another way to open the hatch. And that is through an, this um, uh, input uh, signal here. And this input signal is... Uh, this is an on-off receive. So this node here will detect if an on-off signal was received from uh, a connected door. And this is what you read there, right? The on-off signal received from a connected door. So this is the on-off signal that, um, that we received from the submersible. So, and, and the OR, uh, this is an, an OR... Um, uh, gate right here you can you can find it here in these uh, elements this is the OR gate and what it does is is a logic gate that outputs the logical OR of two input signals the output will be switch on if either of the inputs is on and off if 
neither are on so one of them if one of the inputs you see here that it has to input um, ports so if either one of them is on then the output will be on if it's if uh, both of them are off then it will uh, trans it will output off and this uh, or signal sorry this one this or signal uh, in turn is connected to this other port and this other port is the open close uh, port of the hatch so that's how we can open the this hatch door from the submersible and i will show you uh what uh what is the configuration for the submersible hatch door as well here is the hatch door for the submersible and it has pretty much the same thing but in this case we we have this button here right this button that uh, opens and closes the hatch and you see that this button goes uh, is connected to two ports in the in the hatch so one of them is the open and close of this particular hatch and the other one is the on off send so this sends an on off signal to uh, a connected door so this is how you do it right my the the the, the hatch in my in my submersible uh, is uh, has a button that controls uh, whether it's open or closed and also it sends this uh, on off signal to a connected door and this is how we do it also you can see that there is um, there is this magnet toggle this is what we control from this uh, this button here we have to toggle this magnet toggle to uh, to enable the door magnet when um, to enable this door magnet and, and be able to dock with another uh, ship so this enables the door magnet and we have also the same for the mother ship And we said that we control the magnet from here, right? You see here that we we have also this uh, control magnet. So this is what I have to turn on. I have to turn on the, the magnet in this door and in the other door in order for them to be able to dock together. So, and that's pretty much it. This is the the engineering of uh, docking in the game so you can do this with other vehicles in this case is uh, it's a mothership with a submersible okay guys i hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you in the next one this is cyber settler signing off